continue to be bold, continue to be brave, and continue the crusade against the CPP, NP, NDF, and their terroristic activities and their terroristic rampage of wanton killing of our people in the Philippines. So they are now aghast because uh, uh, they are being uh, uh, hit right on target. They are inflicting damage to this terrorist group, the CPP and PNDF. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, challenge of Ka Eric to Carol and his son is uh, to condemn the CPP and PNDF, which both failed to do. Ito ang mariing pagsuporta ni Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy sa kanyang programang Give Us This Day tong Miyerkules sa mga anchor ng laban kasamang bayan na sina Jeffrey K. Eric Celis at Dr. Lorraine Badoy kasunod ng pagsasampa ng kasong sibil ng mamamahayag na si Atom Araulio. Kaugnay sa isyong ito ay pinaliwanag rin ni Pastor Apollo na kung may prinsipyong ipinaglalaban ay dapat panindigan at hindi dapat ikahiya. You know, what I cannot understand about these people is that uh, they are connected with them. But when you tell them that you are connected with them, they sue you. <laughs> I don't understand that. If you are standing for something and you are a revolutionary, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Be courageous. Admit that you are really supporting them and you will have my respect Amen. but you are connected you are in support of their cause which is the cause of the cpp and pnf terrorist group and then when these people in laban kasamang bayan would would connect you with them you sue them i don't understand that me when i stand for something I would die and live for that something, but I will never deny it. I will never deny it. Ani Pastor Apollo, hindi man maiiwasan ang pangungutian ng iba dahil sa pinaninindigang prinsipyo oposisyon ay hindi dapat matakot. You know, it's not very easy to be designated as an appointed son of God. You will have the ridicule of the world. And if I was, not, if I was afraid like you, I would deny it. No, I'm not the son of God, no. <laughs> I'm just a preacher. But then in, in, in private, I would be saying, I'm a son of God, you know. <laughs> no, whether I'm ridiculed or not, when the Father told me that I am that appointed by Him, and then He proclaimed me to the whole world, I'm embarrassed at the first, you know. Sometimes I want to hide, but I did not deny the wish of the Father. I did not deny the will of the Father. Punto ni Pastor Apollo, bakit hindi kayang ikondena ni Araulio kasama ng ina nitong si Carol kaugnay sa karumal-dumal na ginawa ng teroristang komunistang CPP and PANDF kung sila ay naninindigan para sa katotohanan at press freedom? So you who are communists, you are connected to the CPP and PNDF. My understanding fails me. We are very intelligent people. Atom and his ma mother are very intelligent people. The whole world knows that you are supporting this uh, group. And when you are being uh, public exposed that you are such you sue the people that are exposing you when in fact it is true I don't understand that please let me understand so that I can believe that you are true revolutionaries of your cause Amen. now you are seeking redress from our government whom you want to topple down 
So huli ay muling nanawagan si Pastor Polo na sagutin ng mag-ina ang hamon ni Naseles at Badoy kung tunay nga silang hindi mga kaalyado ng komunistang teroristang grupo na nagdulot ng kaharasan at baluktot na paniniwala na umabot ng higit limang dekada. So, uh, Ms. Carol Arolio and Mr. Atom Arolio answer the challenges of the two individuals, anchors of SMNI Laban Kasamang Bayan, Dr. Lorraine Badoy and Ka Eric Silis, answer their challenge and we will listen to you. We will listen to your answer. If not, then your silence is betraying you for who you are. Para sa Diyos at sa Pilipinas kong mahal, Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News. Ayun, mga kababayan, napakalinaw po at napakasimple na naging pahayag ni Pastor Kibuloy. Mm-hmm.